Oh my god, he's stuck. Oh my god, thank god. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to the Mod Pack. God, it feels strange saying that, but I feel like it's the best, and it fits. But welcome back. Yesterday, we ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger. We found tales of a new boss that is coming our way. So I'm going to reread it for those who haven't seen yesterday. So when we click quest, it says, You know those cactoid things in the desert? Well, they got a leader now, and I'm pretty sure it's conspiring to destroy us all. Find it and slay it. So it's the flowering cactoid, and it says quest begins. So essentially what it is, is a cactus boss. Well, maybe it's a cactus boss. It could be like a giant flower, really. And it's in the desert, and it's come to kill us. So I thought we could start today's episode off nice and strong by actually taking down a boss. I've got my grenades as a backup, but I'm also going to be using my bow and stuff like that. And I thought after that we could try at the Eye of Cthulhu again because I've actually got some stuff now to make some buffs. And I think that's what was letting me down yesterday. And also I was having a bit of fun. I don't have any Featherfall potions today, so I'd actually kind of like to get them. They were, uh, well, they were really helping out, I'm not going to lie. I feel like our, uh, our success yesterday was dependent on that Featherfall potion. Now, I also want to go into the jungle a little bit because I actually haven't got all the accessories you might expect. Like... I want to do Queen B, but I can't do Queen B because I haven't got a cloud and a bottle. And I really need a cloud and a bottle. Right, let's see if I can find this boss. He should be on the surface according to, um, well, according to the minimap crate. Okay, that's obviously a worm. So, but what I will do is I'll go down. Did I say minimap crater? I meant boss checklist crater. I apologize. I apologize. Right, let's check down here. Let's just see if he's, uh, if he's about. Because he might be underground, and then again, he might be on another desert. That's what that's what I was thinking about. I was thinking, what if he just spawns somewhere in the world, and he's always there, wait, like, waiting to be killed? You know? But then again, it might be like a pink saw thing, where it just randomly spawns. I don't know. I don't know. So, I actually got a few weapons yesterday. I don't think I actually showed them off in use. One of them was the, uh, the Fire Frenzier. It's like a, uh, well, as you can see, it's a flamethrower, so that's pretty cool. But then I also got myself a slime staff, so I was pretty chuffed about that. Because obviously, most people don't actually use the slime staff because it's so rare. So, I like it. I'm going to take those nymph berries. Right, is there any boss? No. Okay, so, typical jump cut fashion now. I'm going to jump cut ahead. I'm going to go check out all the deserts that are close by. There are some to the right and some to the left. And hopefully I'll find it. I have a feeling that it's spawned somewhere just randomly on a desert. And we have to go find that specific spot. But we'll see. So one of the comments I've got a lot recently is about these little squirrels. Uh, apparently they have untold powers. So I was meant to get a bug net and actually catch one. So let's grab one. Okay, it's called a top hat squirrel. Alright. It's just 52? 52 throwing damage. Wow. Who knew this squirrel had phenomenal cosmic power? So it's a throwing weapon. Cool. All right, let's give it a test. Let's see how we do against uh, some slimes. All right, let's get them all in a little bunchy area. Okay, let's test out this top hat squirrel. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know. Maybe I didn't use its full potential. I, if I see any more, I'll, I'll, I'll gather them together, because 52 is a lot of damage. So, I stumbled across the Reach biome, so I wanted to check out what was inside. So, there's a Fawn Wild Staff. Okay. Some Elder Bark. A Forsworn Pendant. Cool. I'll take that. Uh, let's see what else. I got a Rusty Buckler. So, that just increases defense, right? Not bad. So I'm literally on my quest to find more deserts. I still haven't found this thing. Maybe it's something that appears after a while, or I don't know. But if I uh, if I keep getting unlucky, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refight the uh, Eye of Cthulhu. So at least we have something to do while we wait. Okay, what is that? All right, that's one of those teleporting dudes. All right, let's take this off the floor. Natural essence, very nice. I imagine that probably makes potions like the uh, the ones you get in the ice biome. Oh my god, get out of here, dude. There we go. <laughs> well slain. Right, if I can find another desert here, I'd be very thankful. No. Okay, I found the dungeon. Quite literally. 
Oh god, I don't want to die. I'll take those hearts, please. Alright, let's see if I can find a blue candle while I'm here. I could really do with a blue candle. I could take the water bolt. I'm not going to use it. I think a water bolt might be a bit too cheap. What do you guys think? Okay, there's the blue candle. Grab that. Okay, awesome. Right, I'm going to go back to where I, um, where our spawn is, and I'm going to find the Icofu loop. Well, I was going to transition there, but I don't have to. I thought I didn't have any recall. I was just going to log off and on. Right, let's make some uh, some potions then. So I need day bloom. That's the first thing I need. So I've got a single day bloom, piece of iron ore. I've got more day bloom elsewhere as well. So maybe in this third chest I've got more. Maybe not. Maybe in this one I've got more. I don't know. The good thing is I've got a little mod that actually shows me where everything is. Okay, so that's the only day bloom I have. So I can make a regen or an iron skin. So I'm going to make a regen because it will increase our defense and I think we need that. And then I'm also going to extend this bridge a lot. This is probably what needs to get maneuvered anyway. And hopefully this will be enough. So I do have a lot of disadvantages when it comes to actually fighting this boss. And one of them being I don't actually have a cloud in a bottle. And that can be a big problem with this fight. But I have a strong feeling that with my flamethrower, with a little bit of luck, I might just be able to do it. And I'm also going to speak to the chef in a second as well, because that chef should sell us some cake. And that cake's going to make us strong. I'm also going to use those nymph berries. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling good. Okay, let's speak to the um, to the chef. Hello, chef. Sell us... Ooh, let's see. I'll take regen. Okay, so I've got regen, uh, iron skin. Is there anything else I can take? Archery, hunter, a suspicious looking eye, I'll take that. Is there any other potions that I've got? I don't think there is. Uh, gills? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Right, so I don't know how this is going to go. Buff up, begin. Right, I'm still using the grenades from last time because they were very effective. Oh, okay. I'm kind of getting trapped by a lot of enemies. I've got to be really careful of that. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot harder when you can't maneuver, like, with even, like, some of the basic stuff. This is also super hard because I can't see, which is my fault, really. Okay. Right, time to do loads of damage. Okay. <laughs> Look how many eyes there are. No, let me out. Okay, don't get trapped there. Okay, just took damage then. That was my own fault. Okay, this is working out well, just running and, and doing this. Okay. Right, now I need to use the flamethrower and try and survive. Okay, <laughs> this ain't going very well. Oh no, is there any other boss I can take? Okay. Keep running, keep running. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> oh, that was ace. That was such a ghetto fight as well. I absolutely love that. That is great. That's the kind of thing that I want to do in this series. Just goof around in that sense. All right, open that up. Oh, wow. A Cthulhu judge. What is this? Okay, so it's 27 melee damage. And it says, I have an eye on you. And it gives you 30%, 36% chance of eye core. Nice. I kind of needed a sword, really. And this is the third eye. So this is from Beyond the Forgotten Age. So it's a magic damage. Predicts the location of enemies. So it's got like a little bit of homing, I'm guessing. Okay, cool. And yeah, I presume it has like the tiniest amount of homing. That's so awesome. Right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to wait until the night time. Not the night time, the daytime, And then we're going to go hunting for our, uh, our little thing. Let's see, can I hand this quest in now? How does that work? No, I can't hand this in. So it's going to ask me to do that one and that one. Hmm, okay. Well, at least we have it for next time. And I got some essence. This one is from Calamity. So that's a little bit of story. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to wait a little while. And then when it's uh, nice and bright out, we'll carry on with what we're doing. I never actually tested this out. Cool. I should probably hot bar that. All right. Cool. See you in a sec. Okay, I think I found him. Here he is. <laughs> the flowering cactoid. You can see the little head on the minimap. I wonder how long he's been there for. I was walking around with a, uh, a blue candle, so I think that might have actually caused it. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I was expecting it to be amazing. 
I wonder how long you've been there for. Okay, you're gonna come out. Hello. <laughs> this is this is pretty spot on. I like that I have to go to my own boss, essentially. Okay, he's in this little chasm. God, I would just absolutely love if he's been down here all this time and I've just walked past him. Okay, so I made a weapon called the Dragon Shot. I wanted to check it out. Okay, right. I probably shouldn't have let him loose so quickly. No, let me... Ah! God. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, so hopefully it's like the other ones where it actually lets you... Uh, God, I need to get out of the way. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, he's stuck. Oh my god, thank god. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's brilliant. Alright, it's our greatest foe, guys. Let's see if we can beat him. Okay, we're gonna buff up. We're gonna keep on doing damage. Right, let's go to the, uh... Whatever this one is. Uh, flamethrower. Okay, I only seem to do one damage at a time. Maybe I'm, like, doing too much damage. Can't handle it. Oh, God, it's getting faster. Okay. So if you keep it above you, does it not do that? No, okay, it does do that. Oh, my God. How are you meant to combat that? I think it is meant to be able to, like, soak up the damage, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make some armor. We're going to come back, redo it. Man. That thing is so weird. Ugh. All right, it's time to take on this cactus. We need to let it know that we will not be afraid of a cactus. It's actually a, uh, a pretty hard boss, though. I'm not going to lie. It's hard in a way <laughs> because I'm making it hard for myself, if that makes sense. So it's my own fault. Right, I need to get it to chase me. So come on, chase me. So I'm going to make it chase us, and then I'm going to try and loop around on it. Okay, right. Avoid all that, because that's trash. Okay, now it should chase us. Okay, good. And I'm going to use my bow and my cursed effect to actually try and do a bunch of damage. I'm going to loop it on itself. Oh, I almost got it right. I'm going to loop it again. Oh, God. You maneuver out the way really quickly, don't you? You're really annoying, cactus. Oh, no. What? What's this about? What's this about? You never said there'd be extra enemies and stuff. No, let me move. It makes me super slow. Oh, I feel super slow. All right, there's boss I can take. Strawberries, there you go. All right, the strawberries. Oh, no, no, no. Come back. <laughs> I was going to say, the strawberries are helping, to be honest. All right, make sure I take another one of those. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's getting super low. It's getting super low. There we go. Hey, we did it. Awesome. Man, that was harder than, uh, than I should have let it be. <laughs> oh, if you guys are wondering, by the way, because you're looking at my hut and my chest and thinking, what are you doing? Usually, I don't build until I've actually got the right tools to build. So, I like to have, like, a decent axe, decent pickaxe, before I start, like, mining stuff. Because, obviously, it takes a very long time to mine all the blocks for a house at this point in the game. But it can be pretty easy later on. So, enjoy me roughing it up for now because it won't last forever. This ghetto style. Right, so I need to grab my little thing that I got. It's called the Tooth of the Eye of Cthulhu. And then I need to give him the Cactoid Flower. Alright, take the Cactoid Flower. Okay, good job taking down that Cactoid. Hmm, it seems to be some kind of badge in the flower. Here, you take it. Okay, so it's called the Cactoid com Commendation? Commendation. The Commendation. Non-corrupt cactoids become friendly, fight for you, and regenerate health. Wow, occasionally summons a cactoid. That's actually kind of cool, that. I will replace that with that. Okay, so what is next? Next one is that one. Awesome. So it gave us a life crystal, a mana crystal, and a demonic eyeball staff. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it shoots out eyeballs. That's actually really cool. That could be pretty fast as well. If we had better mana, that would look awesome. And it gives you the rare binoculars. Okay. So, there are far too many eye monsters in this world. I saw one that was four of them all amalgamated together. It saw me too, of course. So I started throwing my knives at it when it started shooting lasers. I promptly went back indoors. It'll roam around at night. If it's nearby, I'll help you out. I don't think you will. It's called the ICU. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. 
All right, we found our first house in the jungle. <laughs> it's flare gun. Great. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I don't have any bombs, so it looks like I can't mine down, which is a bit of a shame. Well, I can't bomb down, so I'm going to have to mine super slow. As you can see, we've got a little cactus, dude. Somebody actually said to me, they were like, I obviously wasn't quite sure what they were actually referring to, but they said to me, James, you're going to love what you get from the next boss, obviously meaning the cactus boss. And I think you're right. I, I do like this uh, this cactus creature. He's quite cool. Right. Uh, let's get inside and breathe. No, no. Uh, let me out. Uh, God, I'm sticking to everything. There we go. Okay. All right, down we go again. All right, just got to be careful because obviously there is a little viner down there. We need to avoid the viner or possible things. Okay, not avoiding that viner now, am I? <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I don't think I've got a chance of actually surviving. I'm going to have to take it real slow. Oh, actually, you know what? I could just go this way. What am I saying? If this way actually has anything, I'd be very happy about that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, snap. Right, maybe I was being a little bit dumb. Ah, <sighs> but that's it for today's episode, guys. I just want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Man, that cactus boss was something else. And I really, really enjoyed just stumbling across it. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like rating. Every single day we get a thousand likes and it means a lot. Also, thank you to all of the new people here. While starting this series, we've had a couple of thousand new people which is awesome. So thank you so much for that. If you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, please do so. You're guaranteed to get a Terraria episode in your subscription box every single day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.